DEA. What's up everyone, General Discharge here. Today's video is going to be discussing the DEA. DEA stands for Drug Enforcement Administration. Notice how we said administration. It's not the Drug Enforcement Agency like a lot of people think. There's a lot behind the DEA. We're going to go over what they do, who they are, their missions, capabilities, training, requirements, their special response teams, and much more. If you want to know more about the DEA, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Before we jump into it, make sure to take a moment and show us some love and support by liking our video and subscribing to our channel. Your support is our lifeblood. Do not hesitate to ask us questions in the comments section below. We check everything. Have you ever seen the show Narcos? Those guys are DEA agents. The DEA has a rich history in combating drug wars and kingpins, ranging from Pablo Escobar to El Chapo. Established on July 1st, 1973, the DEA is a U.S. federal law enforcement agency that falls under the Department of Justice. Its mission is to enforce the controlled substances laws and regulations of the United States and combating drug trafficking and its distribution. It has the sole responsibility for coordinating and pursuing U.S. drug investigations both domestic and abroad. Okay, so you know the Drug Enforcement Administration is about drug enforcement. Big shocker there. But there's more to the DEA than meets the eye. The DEA has its special response teams. Stood up in 2015, DEA SRT has been involved in several high-profile operations in recent years. But you're probably not aware of their presence because a lot is kept under wraps about them. Their predecessors are the FAST teams, which is something you might have heard about, but those have been disbanded. DEA SRT is available to respond to practically any CONUS geographical area with little to no preparation or notification. Some of their missions include high-risk drug-related arrests, vehicle assaults, air assault and infiltration, specialized surveillance, custody of high-profile individuals, dignitary and witness protection, tactical surveillance and interdiction, advanced breaching, tactical training to other police units, and urban and rural fugitive searches. These guys are no joke. So, you're probably wondering, how do you find yourself in the DEA SRT? Well, you have to be a DEA special agent first. We'll get more into the standard DEA special agent training in a bit, so we'll focus on the SRT training for now. Alright, after you're a DEA special agent for two years, you can apply for the SRT. Senior DEA managers evaluate each SRT applicant's job performance, physical fitness, firearms qualifications, and conduct a panel interview. The SRT standards are much harder than the average DEA special agents. The basic SRT school is two weeks long. After the SRT school, special agents attend the following schools in no specific order, which are these. Pause the screen to take a longer look. As you can see, SRT members receive some highly diversified training. You wouldn't want one of these guys kicking down your door. Now that you know about the special response teams, let's go over another cool part about the DEA. Did you know General Discharge has an Instagram? We actively post memes, video updates, and whatever else we feel like. Join the team and follow us at general.discharge. Links in the description. Now back to the video. It's called the Aviation Division. The Aviation Division employs a fleet of airplanes and helicopters flown by specially trained special agent pilots. Yeah, you can be a pilot for the DEA. It also supports the DEA's enforcement efforts through surveillance, photographic reconnaissance, movement of personnel, and cargo and transportation of fugitives and prisoners. Currently, it consists of around 135 special agent pilots and 100 aircraft, including fixed wing, helicopters, and most recently, drones. Yeah, you heard that right. The DEA is using drones to target the world's most violent and dangerous drug traffickers. Now this next part is pretty cool, and it has to do with intelligence. The DEA has what is called EPIC, which stands for El Paso Intelligence Center. Located in, you betcha, El Paso, Texas, EPIC is a DEA-led intelligence center that offers tactical, operational, and strategic intelligence support to federal, state, local, tribal, and international law enforcement organizations. There's currently 21 agencies that work under EPIC, all working towards the same goal identify threats to the nation with an emphasis on the southwest U.S. border. Alright, now you know some pretty neat stuff about the DEA. 
we're going to quickly go over the structure of the DEA, as well as the locations it operates in, and then we're going to move into the career fields that you can find yourself in. We're going to start off with where the DEA field divisions are, but we're only going to cover the domestic ones. Just keep in mind that the DEA works around the world, having 91 foreign offices in 68 countries. As you can see on the screen, the locations highlighted are respective to their divisions. There's 21 domestic divisions in the DEA, and you're looking at them. The DEA currently has approximately 5,000 special agents stationed throughout the world. Now on to a quick breakdown of the structure of the DEA. The DEA is led by its administrator and deputy administrator. And then there's divisions. There are several divisions that make up the DEA. There's the Operations Division, Intelligence Division, Information Systems Division, Diversion Control Division, Inspection Division, Operational Support Division, Financial Management Division, and the Human Resources Division. As you can see from all those divisions, they have a lot of resources and capabilities available to fight the war on drugs. Now that you have an idea about what the DEA does, its structure, and where it operates, we're going to move on to the career fields that exist in the DEA, and then move on to the training and requirements to get into the DEA. In the DEA, you can be a special agent, diversion investigator, intelligence research specialist, forensic scientist, or work in an administrative position such as an accountant or an attorney. For this video, we'll focus on and go over special agents and diversion investigators, but we encourage you to go check out the DEA's website if you want to learn more about the other career fields. This is the DEA Special Agent Badge. Special agents are what you think of a DEA agent, and they make up a bulk of the administration. Their duties are gather and prepare evidence to help prosecute major violators of U.S. drug laws, partner with other law enforcement agencies to target violent drug offenders in local communities, arrest subjects and seize assets connected to illicit drug trafficking, work with officials in foreign countries to share intelligence and target international criminals, and much more. Diversion investigators are responsible for addressing the problem of diversion of controlled pharmaceuticals and regulated chemicals from the legitimate channels in which they are manufactured, distributed, and dispensed. They aid the U.S. pharmaceutical and chemical industries in complying with the Federal Controlled Substances Act and other pertinent laws, as well as international treaties and conventions. Alright, you know what kind of jobs that you could work in if you join the DEA. Let's go over the training and requirements. Just keep in mind that for the purposes of this video, we're going to stick with the special agents. Becoming a DEA special agent is a long journey. The hiring process alone takes around 18 months, so keep that in mind. Every DEA special agent candidate attends the DEA Basic Agent Academy located in Quantico, Virginia. The DEA Academy is co-located with the FBI Academy. The DEA and the FBI trainees share most of the facilities at the FBI Academy, and their training is very similar, with the exception of the academic portion, in which the DEA focuses on federal drug law enforcement. The Basic DEA Academy is about five months long. Core instructional areas include these. Pause the screen to take a longer look. And on top of that all, you'll receive over 127 hours of firearms training and will fire about 8,000 rounds. So yeah, there's a lot you'll learn if you become a DEA special agent, but that's just the tip of the iceberg. After graduating from the academy, every new agent is assigned to a senior special agent for an additional four months of on-the-job field training. All right, so you know a bit about the training you'll have to go through. But do you even qualify to become a special agent? We guess you're about to find out. Oh, and you probably saw this coming. Prior drug use is a big no-no. You're trying to join the DEA, duh. But on a real note, they won't accept you if you had marijuana usage in the last three years or hard drugs within the last 10. But besides that, here are the minimum requirements to become a DEA special agent. Pause the screen to take a longer look. You also have to pass the DEA PTA, which stands for Physical Task Assessment. The PTA consists of a minute of sit-ups, a 300 meter sprint, a minute of push-ups, and a mile and a half run done in that order. There's a 10 minute rest between each event. In order to pass the PTA, you need to at least get a point in each event and score a minimum of 12 points. On screen are the minimums and points for each event. Pause the screen to take a longer look. So there you go. You now know a lot about the DEA. Now don't go just yet. We got some more information for you. We bet you know a general discharge. The learning never stops. We have some book recommendations for you if you're interested in learning more about the DEA. There's Drug Warrior by Jack Riley, The Last Cowboy by Tim Sellers, and Inside DEA by Bob Hartman. But wait, there's more. If you're interested in other U.S. law enforcement agencies and entities, we've done videos on some of them. We got a video on the U.S. Marshals, Border Patrol, 
Secret Service, the FBI's hostage rescue team, the FBI's SWAT teams, ATF, and CIS, and we even did a video comparing the FBI and CIA. Go check them out if you haven't already. Well, that is the down and dirty of the DEA. If you learned something from this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. As always, thank you for watching. Do you even want to be here? A big shout out to all of our patrons over at our Patreon. Thank you all so much for taking the extra step in supporting our channel. It is much appreciated. If you'd like to be featured on a general discharge video, go give our Patreon a look and join the team. Here's Nick Nausea. All your friends are subscribing to General Discharge and you don't even want to be here.